Hello and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast, a veritable miasma of worthless ideas. I'm Brendan, and here with Luke. Hello. And Jonathan. Hello, uh, keyboard plaza. And uh, we can start with what have you guys been playing? I've been playing Psychonauts recently. I'd never played that game before. It's a good game. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I don't think I ever finished it. Yeah, really? I think I got really far in it, but I just never finished it. I can. I bet you I can guess where you guys gave up because it was the fucking worst. I can't even worst. guess where I gave up. Um, <laughs> like at the very last level, you do like this little platforming section, like in a circus of meat, and it is the worst. No, I don't, I don't think so. It was a. Like it was, it was at like a circus, and I had to like keep talking to people over and over again, and I finally got that far, but then I just was like, all right, well. I don't remember having to talk to anybody at a circus. No. But the circus is like the last Oh, you know what? It was at a theater. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, that one was a little dark. But then I continued to play, but I don't remember how far I got. I just kind of was like, eh, well, I've had enough of this. I also yeah. didn't stop because I got like bored or frustrated or anything. I just yeah. forgot to keep playing. Yep, that's basically the same as me. It's so usually what happens. That's the only one that's me. actually finished it, even though, like, I'm super late to the party here. Probably, Probably yeah. That's kind of funny. But yeah, overall I'd say it's a good game. It's a really good game. I really like the uh, aesthetic of it. Yep, are you excited for Psychonauts 2? Now I am, like, super. I was already before, just because of the writers on it. But now that I've actually played Psychonauts, like, hell yeah. They even set up the sequel in the first game. Yep. As do a lot of sequels. Well, I mean, it's like been so long. I, I thought that this was like out of nowhere. But that's how you have to you have to end your story with some sequel bait. In case yeah, you come back to. to it. That's the way. So wait, you guys are okay with ending a story with sequel bait, but you're not okay with uh, releasing a trailer before your game's complete. I, never I wouldn't say complete, about but. I feel like it's the same thing. On, it's what, a trailer. When did I complain about it's trailers? It's technically like a trailer for no, a game I just that you haven't even worked on it. Yet. Listen, when you haven't even worked on a trailer or, or a game. Oh yeah, yeah. if you if you release a trailer that the game doesn't exist in but any form. But that's exactly what like prequel bait is. You haven't even no no because no, you're, you're setting up you're setting up a game. story thread to be paid off yeah. later. Not it's completely not, different. It depends on no, no, it depends on how tasteful. Jonathan, I assume what you're talking about is when I complained about. TES 6 and Starfield when they just showed the logo with a backdrop? That's No, no, no. You are not. That is not at all. You complained about Breath of the Wild 2. Yes, I think that also. Hold on. I, I didn't mean... complain about that teaser. Yeah, you did. Somebody did. I what did. What do you did? Luke might. Okay. Listen, I don't care. I don't but care about okay, teasers. But you're okay with like well, a trailer that is essentially worthless because it shows nothing. I mean, it's, yes. it's setting up the story. Yeah. Is it though? Yeah. yeah, it's showing us that what, Ganon returned into physical form, and Hyrule Castle underneath the castle and the castle raised. I mean, it's literally like a collection of DLC. So, it's doing the same thing that. What if they had that at the end of the game? Then you would have been fucking hyped for this. Don't lie. I would not. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me right now. Would I have been more hyped? I would. I would certainly be like, oh, that's cool. But would I have been like? Oh, it's... Because you're excited for Psychonauts because they had that, like, team. No, I didn't. I never even game. finished it, remember? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I literally am excited for Psychonauts because I felt like the first one had some, like... But you didn't say fatal it. flaws, but... Yeah, no, they did. It, did. It, it definitely felt kind of janky. That's the thing, like... When it came out. One of the coolest abilities in it, like, one of the best things about it was, like, the levitation ability, but it completely broke the game if you used it outside of what the game thought you would use it for. Like, you could totally skip entire, like, yeah, yeah. huge running swaths of the game just by, like, jumping over it. And, like, I did that shit all the time. It's like, why wouldn't you? It's part of the game. So, I yeah, I'm... I hope they do better. Well, Even I think I they're gonna think do they better, do especially with the funding from, uh... Microsoft? What do you call it? From Microsoft, I feel like it's it's gonna happen, you know. Sweet. But my whole thing is with Breath of the Wild 2 is that it'll be alright. I mean, people expecting it to be as revolutionary as the first one are gonna be very disappointed. That's all I can say. Who thinks that? A lot of people that I've talked to are like, it's gonna be so crazy. It's gonna be all good. Really? It's like it's it's the same engine. Like, yeah. It'll be it'll be good. Certainly. I mean, they could do things that would make it crazy. What do you think they'll do? 
I mean, they may, might make Zelda as a playable character. I think that, that that's semi-reasonable. So if she's playable, but she doesn't have anything different? Huh? No, no, that's what no, I'm saying. Is they could make it so that she does. How do I yeah, but people complain about that in other games. Really? Yep. Spider-Man, for example. The characters play too differently? No, they just complain about playing as different characters, regardless of the, the change in theme or anything. Well, that's because, like, they were... I don't know. It, like, it, when you play as MJ, it's it's a stealth investigation rather than yeah, swinging horrible. around I hope, Yeah, it's the same thing as Resident Evil 4. In that case, I would not want it at all. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be, though. Yeah, no. But but, like, what, if they, what if it's, like, an optional thing that you could do? Like, after you beat the game, you could play as Zelda who uses... So it would be, like, uh, Luigi. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. To like a Mario game. I mean, completely different, but I yeah, guess. but basically the exact same premise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know where I'm going. What have you been playing? I'm just I'm playing Metro Exodus. Ah, nope. Yeah. Slow I haven't down. had much time this week to play, but you know, gotten a little bit farther. I think I've gotten to like the actual open world, mm. as opposed to just the uh, like the sand world and the um. The initial kind of like with dragons and stuff yeah i'm i'm enjoying it i think it's a lot of fun the characterization is pretty good. yeah like at the very beginning they're they're not really dragons but you know like giant flying creatures are you talking about like the whelps <laughs> the like yeah the bat like creatures yeah that are like huge as fuck yeah okay so where did you guys go is that everything on you? I can, think that's uh, you can press tab and see where they are. Um, oh, this helps a lot. What what I've been playing ties into to one of my topics, so I will just okay. I will say what I've been playing and then introduce the topic. Um, I've been playing Dead Space Two after the completion of Dead Space One, uh, replaying those I was games. Say, I thought you already did that. I, I replayed Dead Space One, and that's what I said last week or whatever. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but now I'm playing two because it follows one. Um, Generally speaking, yeah. And so the the topic that I wanted to to bring up with you guys is good horror versus bad horror. And this is not limited to games because it's a not a large selection, mm. uh, but movies as well, books. If you have any examples of that, um, and I, I know people tend to complain about jump scares. I don't think they're always bad, but there has to yeah. be. Uh, set up for it so so dead space yeah. has some jump scares but i don't mind them in dead space because i'm told how they could happen like a necromorph busting out of a vent or a ceiling panel while a jump scare isn't surprising because i'm told that this is a thing that will happen that they are hanging out in the vents. same with like alien isolation yeah. or the alien so movies. it it comes down to like you know being told the rules of the universe for yeah. me you know like if something were to happen, like Deus Ex Machina, where it just completely is like, oh, well, that happened, you know, I would be pretty upset. But if it's actually like, if a character freaks out, let's say in a TV show or movie, and they're like, oh my god, oh my god, um, like, they could just jump out of the ceiling at any time. And then like later that happens. Yeah. It's fine. But if they just jump out of the ceiling at any time and you're not given any clue to that, then yeah, that's that's pretty like mm, it's not cool. I'd, I'd yeah. go as far as to say it's not cool. Yeah. For me with jump scares, it's like if I'm already invested in the world, then it's okay. Yeah, I don't think it like adds anything per se, but it doesn't like take it away. But if I'm not invested in the world and they have the audacity to throw in a jump scare, like when I'm not scared at all and I like jump by it, then I'm just mad. I'm like, you didn't get me. Like you just well, surprised they did me. Get you. I'm not, I'm not they, scared. They, they did get they you. They did get you. But... <laughs> Yeah, it's, I got, like a, got it. it's like a cheap got, got him, you know? It's like right, when right, we're right. talking about... Uh, what's that department store? Or it's it's like, not a department know... store, like that grocery store. Oh, wait, you know that one band? It's like Imagine... No, 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 no. you know the... Uh, you know that one grocery store, Brennan? No, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, it's Give like some from details, Germany. Jesus. It's from Germany. I... Are you talking about Etika? No, 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 the one that's, like, from Germany, and you have to have, like, a coin to bring it back, like, Aldi's? when you're done. 
all these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> God. God or like that one band, you know? Imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. I was like, oh, he gets it. Yeah. I'm dead now. Okay. You used all of it. No, you have like four more lives. Anyway. Oh, okay. Don't Other than you guys being fucking morons. Um, <laughs> have you guys played the Dead Space games? I have not. Hmm. I've played a little bit. Oh, you know, actually, I lied. I played a little bit of the most recent one. Okay, well, that's three or four? tragic. That's three. the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Um, how much have you played, Luke? A little bit of two. Oh. I, I was really interested in uh, the multiplayer component that I was oh, yeah. told of, where it's like, as you go through the game, you know, one of the characters is like crazy and the other isn't. Nope, that's three again. Oh, really? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. <laughs> I never got to that point. I never saw that. I was that's, very confused. That's the beginning of two. three co-op. That's literally that's the whole thing with three. One of you is playing as Isaac. One of you is playing as Carver. Yeah. So what makes it so interesting is imagine like you're playing this co-op game. That's like the only I like the cool idea thing about three for the record. Yeah, I love the idea of it, and I thought it was two. So imagine my horror when we played, you know, two, and that never happened. Yeah. Which is what I was about to say. So anyway. Um, I don't even think two has co-op. We I don't, don't even think we it has it has online multiplayer, though. but it doesn't have co-op. Yeah, but then maybe like... I was playing three. But anyway, the whole point of uh, the multiplayer is really cool. I love the idea of it. I don't think we ever actually like answered the question of like good horror versus bad horror. Yeah. So, so the, anyway, the reason I asked if you guys have played Dead Space is I was gonna give an example, but this will mean less to it's you. It's very it's very subjective, um, obviously. Yeah. But so. I. So I always remember Dead Space 1 as, as being the scarier game, uh, and I'm, I'm actually revising that because I think Dead Space 2 does some far more clever things. Like, uh, you end up, you go to a hospital, uh, which ob obviously is a very common horror theme because people are afraid of hospitals. Um, but it's, it's great because as you open the, the large doors and you look in, there are red balloons on a desk and y you see them very clearly because you know red balloons stand out and then one of them pops which is effectively a jump scare but it's still set up beforehand and it's like a really great moment of just the game giving you the middle finger and just reminding you that you're its bitch uh it was a fantastic moment that i had forgotten and i enjoyed immensely when i got to it because also I... luke some pro tip you're a ranger you can you can use range. your range <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, how do that? But yeah, I, know, I, I know. asked how do we shout what? Are there any horror movies or games you you guys have experienced in recent years? Actually, I used good? to like hate horror when I was little because <laughs> I was a little bitch. Uh, and only recently I've actually like been getting into it, and uh, I've, I've watched so much recently. I thought it was okay. It wasn't really like a horror film, but it was like a good movie. Which it? Yeah, the newest one. Oh, okay. I've never seen the newest one. It was good. I wouldn't say it was like... Was, was it cool. good or was it good? <laughs> it was good. I need it. Do you have it? That was that's that was an inside meme with my friends. It's like going to a store just being like, Hey, yeah, you we can it. inside yeah. meme? Oh, it's it's not an inside meme if like everyone else has used it. That's like, who's on first? You know what? Let me live my dreams. My dreams of memes. But yeah, no, that was alright. I, I think like... Oh, have you guys seen Brightburn? Brightburn. It wasn't really scary at all, but no, like... I haven't seen it. I, I've listened when I was into horror. It was definitely like older stuff that I would just watch all the time. Yeah. So like, I watched all the Nightmare on Elm Streets. Well, those the, aren't good uh... horror movies. Oh, I've watched those. They're no, like they're not, really but they're goofy. Fun. Yeah. yeah that, that For me, was the, the era of camp horror. horror. Was like... Well, here's the thing. The first one is definitely not. I wouldn't classify it as camp horror. And then they went ahead and kind of did the same thing they did the sequel treatment i guess you could consider it of just like fuck it just release a bunch of shit yeah the best horror thing i've watched recently like this is like my distinction of good horror and bad horror was um uh haunting of hill house on netflix that was good that was really good because what like, was the one on netflix where like a invisible monster is following you that one's the shit i like that one. Oh, bird box no what no. Invisible no, it's monster. the one where you like you cat. It's like an STD. Oh, it oh, follows. It follows. That was yeah, alright. I like that one a lot. It was an inventive idea. Yeah. Well, here, let me explain why I think that um, 
uh, haunting was so good was because like after they explained one of the ghosts, like it actually made it a more terrifying experience, which is like pretty rare. So yeah. but this is another. Once they explain it, this is another distinction that I wouldn't call that horror so much as it was suspense. What haunting of Hill House? Yeah. Really? They like I, I wasn't horror. scared during haunting. I was. Of what? But like, I wasn't scared during like it. Oh, I'm not scared of anything with like demons or ghosts. That shit me either, bother. usually. But this was like the thing about it was like there was this. Um, I mean, I guess I'm gonna spoil haunting. Do okay. you guys care? Go ahead. But, I've uh, seen it. At one point, one of the ghosts. It's called like the bent neck lady. It's like reappears throughout the show, and it's like it never really scared me. Can you guess what she looks like, Luke? I bet she has a bent neck. She do. She hung herself. So. But like they explained it as um, eventually, like the oh, character who gets Jonathan, haunted she by didn't this. hang herself. Did you watch the show? I'm getting there. I'm <laughs> explaining it. Uh, so she, the person who that uh, that ghost haunts throughout the film, she ends up getting killed by the house. Um, by like the. It's the a house crossover show with Smart House. In case we don't oh, explain that. Oh, yeah. it's just like Smart House. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except the house is trying to kill you actively. Just like Smart House. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess. It's just it's smart house, but anyways, so it ended up being it's so not she as was smart. haunting. She was haunting herself, and like the way she was doing it was she was just dead, and like she was ruining her own life, and that was like horrifying for me. Like that was like a really good. Oh, so it's like okay, so it's thing. like it's like real life <laughs> anime. Yeah, it's like real life horror. That's like better. Horror no, it's just like just real like, life. Who's a spooky ghost? <laughs> you haunt yourself and ruin your own life. Yeah, I mean that's pretty accurate. I... So that's my distinction of good and bad horror. But the, so um, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't find the haunting to be horror. Like there wasn't anything scary. It was just like you don't think you never thought like any of the the spoops were spoopy. No. Well, first off, none of the ghosts spoop you. They just well, they hang out four hundred okay. feet in the background. Okay. So there there has to be that's that ter that's that's scarier for me. There, like one scene, like he, was, he found the dead body and, just, and horror. But again, so it's just suspense because you see it in the background. You're like, oh shit, what's it gonna do? And then it doesn't do anything. So it never. But that's more the terrifying because like why the fuck was it there? Like. But that's suspense. Like, that's the, all of what you're describing is suspense. I think suspense is more terrifying than just like watching some. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that like ass well, ripped apart. Here's the thing that I think. There's a distinguish. There's a big distinction between horror and suspense and things like that. But there's definitely like I have a preference for horror that has suspense. I think you're allowed to have that. But um, like my favorite horror movie that I can just think off the top of my head that I really enjoyed and it actually wasn't even an R-rated movie. Uh, I feel like 1408 was really well done. Yeah. Uh, Stephen What's King's. I just felt like you by hotel the end room. you didn't know what the fuck was going uh, on. The movie is John Cusack. He goes to a hotel where there's a haunted room, room 1408, and he asks to stay in it. Everyone who stayed in the hotel room has died. Um, it's based on a Stephen King novel, I believe. Yeah, but I just felt like it, it wasn't necessarily that I liked like the. I just thought the. You know the the idea is pretty mill like run of the mill, uh -huh. but the actual execution of that movie was just wonderful. I don't remember which ending was the real ending, and which was yeah, the yeah, alternate it's, ending. Yeah, it's the worst ending. The worst ending is does the does real he ending. get out in the real ending? Uh, I think so. Okay, the, real the alternate ending, ending he, does, he doesn't, so and it's just better. relayed in uh, Samuel recordings Jackson, but, yeah. to his wife, which is way better. Yeah. No, there's actually three. There's three endings for that just so you know that's probably uh, the one the one is when he uh he doesn't get out and it's related to his wife and the other one he doesn't get out and it's related to samuel l jackson mm -hmm. and then the real one is the one that he gets out and he hears the thing with him and his wife proving that it was real but either way i felt like the uh the, the way it was done, it was just expertly written. I wonder how the book is because fucking King can't do endings to save his life. Yeah, well, they couldn't decide what the fuck to do anyway. So. <laughs> they did all three? Yeah, they did all three. Did they release them all? Has, hasn't a movie done that where they release it with multiple endings? So, like, some theaters get a different Yeah, movie? um, I forget what recently did that, and there's, like, five fucking endings. I kind of like that. I think that's a cool gimmick. Well, you know what would be cool is if 
they sent out different copies of the ending to different cinemas without telling anyone. Do they not do that? No, they... They, like, publicize it and they're like, there are multiple endings, you need to see this No, one they're, they're literally, don't publicize it. And then people are just confused as fuck when they talk about it with other I people. I mean, you'd figure it out pretty quickly. Yeah. But at the same time, it would be weird, especially if it was a horror movie with a different ending. I think it would fuck people up. It's a good idea. Yeah. Or even oh. Netflix, right? Oh Imagine, like, a Netflix movie yeah. with, uh, with, like, multiple endings or, like, little things that are different for each viewing. And don't what if... People and just what, if randomize entire, it. what if that was the horror? Was that the monster would get in your head and make everybody, like... Yeah, have you seen, um, things? What, what's Holy that, shit, that I mean, it's not monster, guy. but, uh, what did that recently? It's the, the Black Mirror one. Oh, it's Bandersnatch? One well, Bandersnatch has all these different options, and it's really cool, like, you need to have, like, five hours to just, like, just it, it doesn't, it doesn't really on. have that many endings, though. Yeah. Yes, however, there's a lot of scenes that if you want to see, you need to, you know. I actually thought that it was really mediocre. Like, every scene in it was, like, very, like, eh, Most of right. Black Mirror has been pretty mediocre yeah. lately. Yeah, but, dude, well, I haven't seen the newest season. It's not but very dude, the original... first episode of the newest season was, like, super weird. <laughs> I mean, that's that's Black Mirror's, like, M.O. But it wasn't, like, I don't know, it was just, like, strange. It was all about... Like, I couldn't get behind the, uh, the premise. It was all about boning down with your homies. Yeah, it's just the weirdest thing. It's about just making love to your dudes. Yeah, it was VR based. Cybernetically. Oh, I, like, okay. I see my a favorite meme about that. Yeah. My favorite thing about it was like they had this entire scene dedicated to like, it's not gay though. <laughs> it's not a gay thing though. It's like really you had to have that entire like. Of course, they're justifying you... it for themselves. Yeah, they're justifying it. That's exactly what's happening. I suppose. Instead of having to deal with um themselves or you know maybe family life where like someone disagrees with it god damn it i died but uh <laughs> disagrees with whatever the hell then well, I mean, they, they weren't telling anybody it, it was a secret for them yeah yeah but i mean like what i'm trying to say is like psychologically if they don't believe themselves to be gay then they have to like come up with some type of bullshit excuse usually internal there's a word for it just i died again i feel like you know if you're gay or not though yeah i mean usually like, there are a lot of people that are in denial about it yeah. yeah it's very true let's get over here all right i got a vendor coin what do i do with this vendor? i don't know how we went from horror oh that just makes the uh black the guys that you can talk to in this it just makes them cheaper Why are we talking but about here's the thing name? black mirror let, let me explain god damn it i died again black mirror um fucks me up because it hits me in like a way of like uh there's a word for it it's it's not so much like scary things are happening but it's like this is the realization like the real thing this of our universe scary. you know what i mean like we're fucked actually one of the most scariest things i've ever seen was not horror at all it was like i think it was like a youtube video that was like explaining like certain physics and i was like oh my god like because i mean like realistically when we die i mean unless you're like religious and you're wrong like you just don't anymore are you just did you just say that people are wrong for being religious yes absolutely that's a hot take i mean think about this right what do you think what's your opinion on like thor huh do you say on thor? Your opinion on thor yeah what's your opinion on thor uh it's an all right guy too. bit of an asshole like, do you believe in Thor? I do not. Why not? Uh, because... Because the Norse weren't as cool as the Greeks? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean... Alright, so you do, you believe in, like, uh... Believe Greek gods? Is that what you're saying? Sure. Obviously. But what I'm trying to say is, like... I know, I get your point. As time progresses... I think that that's, like... People will just be less religious. Like, that's a guarantee, essentially, unless, like, something religious. horrible happens. Yeah. Unless something horrible happens. Like, there's a giant cataclysm, then, yeah, people might become religious. But I feel like if you look at most first world countries, like, religion just isn't required anymore, so it starts to phase itself out. And that's nothing, like, I think religion has a very 
important goal for societies that have no way of like have no real justice whatsoever. I mean, I don't think you're gonna sway Jonathan on this point. I, I don't care. There's that. I mean, like, ultimately, how I feel is that when you die, like, that's fucking that. Like, even people who are religious, there are plenty of people who believe that. Like, that there is no afterlife. That you just fucking die. In fact, most older religions believe that as well. Well, not most, but some older religions believe that as well. Like, what? I believe a lot of the, uh... I can't remember what, like, what Iran was before they got turned into Muslim and Christian before that. But, like, the original religion of Iran, they basically had that belief. That when you died, that was just game over? That was it? Yeah. I mean, it's not like a game over, it's like, you ever seen Sopranos? I, I know what nothing left means. Hmm? That I know what your point is. Yeah, like, just fucking cut to black. Like, that's yeah. the ending of Sopranos, if, in case you didn't know. You just cut to black. I think that's probably how it is. Hmm. Like, your body has, like, I obviously... Don't think there's any way of knowing, though. Yeah, because you're dead. But you know what right. you can do, is you can let someone die can wake them back up and then they're like whoa man i just saw a bunch of shit because i was hallucinating you're like that's crazy yeah yeah i mean like also like do you think that we have everything understood completely Correct. what do you mean like do you think that no that's stupid we basically yeah. fuck all understood well exactly. yeah we literally have no i fucking idea so do you think it's too crazy to believe in something such as a soul yes really yeah. Interesting. Why would I waste my time believing in a soul? I don't think it's a waste. Because I mean, right. it, nothing really. There's no point to anything. That's not true at all. In fact, that if there is a soul you... and it's just endless, then I believe that there is no point to anything because I can always just wake up tomorrow and be like, "Well, I'm a different person." Wait, why? Why is it meaningless without a soul? Yeah, that's like the that's where I'm confused because I think it only means something if there is. Well, I'm not in your case. Because if there either. isn't and everything is completely <laughs> like godless and everything is very like physical, then it's like. Yeah, but then your impact on the world matters. Yeah. No, so if yeah, because doesn't. if you if you, if you believe it's not going to affect you. If you so help you people, them? then the world gets better. If you hurt so people, why the world people gets worse. It's just. Why hope so hold on, are you saying you're only you're good because you're afraid of God? You would be evil no. otherwise? Because no. that's what you're I'm arguing for I'm right now. I'm only alive cause... because I believe in God. Otherwise, I would kill myself. That's dumb. I'm only alive because I don't believe in God. Otherwise, I'd kill myself. Interesting. Because if everything is just predetermined, then who fucking cares? So wait, why does there have to be a God for you to live your life? Because otherwise, then there'd be no point. What do you mean there'd be no why? point? Why? Because why would I bother going through anything? You're to try there. to become a better person, to try to help the world. I mean, there's just a few reasons. Oh, I am alive. You mean experience things? Yeah, like, you know, just learn things. But in the end, why does any of that matter? I mean, why don't you... Are you listening to, like, you, you Linkin Park? and impact. <laughs> In the end. I mean, it's definitely a scary thought, like, if you're just lazy and haven't done anything with your life. Yeah, it's scary, but it's probably the most uh, logical thing. Did you just roast me, Loki? Hmm? Did you just Loki try to roast me? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> lazy and haven't done anything with your life? No, I'm saying, like, I'm the same way, don't get me wrong, that's why it's a scary thought, and that's why, uh, like, uh, you watching... You don't have to need to have, you don't have to have a global or national impact, even just yeah, how you Yeah, you could help, like, one person, even if how maybe you... that one person could impact two people, it's a butterfly effect. How but do you influence people now, like, do you, if you think, do you think if you killed yourself now, there wouldn't be anyone who would be negatively Yeah, do you impacted? think if, just because there isn't a god in your sense, that 
necessarily that but here's you the kill thing. yourself, you would in make the end, people feel better. In the end, if there is none, I'm then it doesn't... doesn't... <laughs> Don't say that yet. It's <laughs> the fucking thing, dude. I mean, it's but it does true, matter, because listen, everything that you do... No, everything you do matters. You have an impact. On other people, but like... Yeah, and the impact yeah. keeps going. Yeah, that's how... But do you do everything for other people? No, because I can't do everything for yeah, other right. people if I don't do stuff for myself. Like, how am I going to give someone I'm also, like, uh, not a, a saint. Gift. I don't care that much about people. I just <laughs> believe no, that my actions have an impact. How am I, I going to give someone a gift if I can't afford that gift? How am I going to uh, help someone out if I can't help someone out? Like, imagine if you were homeless right now. Could you uh, help a homeless person? Maybe you could, like, give them a sandwich if you happen to have enough money for two people. But you couldn't get them out of that situation, right? Yeah. So, yes, there is a sense, there is uh, some selfishness that is required to be alive. But beyond that, you need that selfishness also to help other people. Man, we got way off topic here. I'm just saying. Regardless, I completely disagree. I think it doesn't matter if there is a god. Well, you said you would kill yourself if there was a god, so you think it does matter that there isn't a god. I mean, they're probably- <laughs> I'm in the camp that it doesn't matter either way. Whether my actions cause some afterlife quota to go up that yeah, gets me exactly. into a good or bad place, or whether, like, the actions are important because of the impact they have now and potentially later. Like, if- But also- If you argue that if there's no afterlife, you could just run amok, that's- Insane. I didn't argue that at all. But that's. And that is basically what you said. No. You said that well, you said you would matter. kill yourself. That would have a negative impact on people. Which would be running amok, essentially. Yeah, you would be willfully having a negative impact on people because it doesn't matter in the long run. Mm -hmm. That's that's you doing whatever you want, regardless of the consequences, the earthly consequences, because you believe there's nothing beyond the earthly consequences anymore. Yeah, and I mean, like, yeah, it's really, this is this is a lot of things that I hear from people specifically is like, okay, well, you can't, um, where was I going with this? I may have this, I don't know. But anyway, um, as far as, like, non-earthly consequences, like, I'm not that selfish, you know? Like, I don't need to be living forever, essentially, just to time out again you said mm -hmm. if you could live forever you would oh yeah, yeah absolutely but i'm what i'm saying is if, that if i died and i just actually died like that's it 100 percent believe that so what i'm trying to get at i i feel like it's almost selfish to be like oh yeah well if i die you know i'll like still exist and that's why it's okay that like i didn't do anything about global warming you know, like, because everyone's just gonna still be alive, just not on this plane of existence. And I think that's pretty bullshit, because even if there is another plane of existence, which there is another plane of existence, um, that doesn't mean we're in it. Oh, yeah. Start. That doesn't necessarily mean that even if we're in it, that things will not have changed dramatically. Um, obviously, like, four dimensions, if you read up on, like, four-dimensional, you know, um... Not just like shapes, but you know, get into geometry and then, you know, potential beings that exist. Uh, Flatland is a really good example. Um, I don't think that necessarily means that we go to that next plane of existence just by dying. I feel like, if anything, the only way we can go to the next plane of existence is by living, passing our, uh, our knowledge on, and then from there, maybe somewhere down the line either one of us or you know a child of one of us or something can then move on to the next plane of existence jonathan do you believe in ghosts i don't okay i know a, a few religious people that believe in ghosts and i don't know how no i mean like uh, to me i feel like most people who are religious believe in ghosts but how? Like, cause, cause there's like a there's like a hard set thing where you know you die and your soul either yoinks down or yoinks up. Do you, does God make well, mistakes I mean, guys, and forget some people? You guys act like there's only 
I feel like I, I've met a lot of. Well, no, most people, people who are religious people are who believe religious. in ghosts usually believe that it's some sort of purgatory. Yeah, but at least that's the thing. But purg purgatory I've... also exists in the Bible, and it's like a thing. Huh? Yeah, but what is purgatory? No. It's not it's exactly just, no. It's, it's not, not really in the Bible at all. Yeah, it's actually no, no, no. a creation of the Catholic Church. Yeah. But um, I thought there was some. Yeah, it's in the Catholic. It. Catholics added like what three or book three or four extra books onto the Bible. Extra stuff, but it's like Bible Plus. <laughs> but here's the thing: even the original Bible, Bible, when it was originally assembled, was assembled by um, like a commission of a king who wanted their specific. Um, orders told to begin with and this is goes back to like Byzantium um, and so things were taken out of like the uh, of, uh, specifically when Jesus was a teenager because he was kind of running amok he was kind of being an asshole so they kind of took that shit out what? Um, yeah so where did you get that information? you can just look it up uh, there are different um I mean, there is also stuff in the Bible that just exists for people to be cleaner, because the people yeah. needed that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which is which is why I think religion was so valuable back then, is because people did not have access to just clean water all the time. So Jesus it was, was just a time travel trying to keep the human race alive. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> be a robot. <laughs> but either way. Um, I think any religion where you believe in like a hard set thing is gonna happen like oh yeah well this exists and these people exist and this thing exists and here are the rules that were laid out to me like is probably bullshit because no no society exists that actually follows um, like a strict rules like that oh I almost forgot to say though uh, to your earlier point that like, correct yeah you're alive uh, that like most religious people believe in ghosts. Um, in my I mean, experience. I met, I met like a lot of religious people and I mean like just to be religious doesn't even mean that they believe in hard set rules. A lot of people I feel are like quote unquote religious where it's like they believe yeah, like in fake a religious, God. I, I don't think it's fake. I think they just don't pretend to know. <clears throat> yeah, it's or like don't research in... their own religion, which I feel like is pretty weak sauce. Can I finish my point? No. They believe in... Okay. <laughs> No, anyway, go on. They believe in, like, a god, but they don't know who or what. Like, they don't assign it to any sort of religion. Yeah, so let's say, like, ants could all of a sudden, like, believe... Or let's say these bugs right here could all of a sudden, like... Yeah, you know, we have, like, opinions. The beetles, excuse me. Form whatever the fuck these little bugs are. They have rights. What, what are they? I said they have They're rights. rights. They're beetles. Yeah. So, let's say if all of a sudden they could, like, come up with their own idea of the world, etc. What, what do you think they'd come up with? Huh? You're like, like, actually sudden, asking me? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think they believe? How the hell would I know? Yeah, me neither. But, I mean, it would I can probably tell you, be... it sure as hell will be some random shit. <laughs> it would probably just be everything in effort of the hive because that's how hive based insects think exactly so the things that they would believe would be the things that would they would believe that would get carried on through generations would be things that are generally seen uh as positives that help the overall society how do we get on religion um, why not can I like not stand still? Luke, that, Luke that made good? a comment. Uh, about only, only when you see like the little holes on the floor. Okay. That guy, like, he he'll fuck up your day. So, any other topics? Especially Luke baited you and you took the bait. Ah. I don't think that's true. I didn't bait no one. You bait people just by existing. <laughs> you are bait. Yeah. Uh. Deep. But, uh, they're gonna say, oh yeah, Breath of the Wild is just flat out. I don't think 2 is gonna be as good. No way. You don't think it's gonna be as good or as innovative? Both. Okay. I, I don't think it's gonna be as good be because fine. it's gonna be based on the same engine. I mean, like, what improvements could they make? I think a lot, like, 
I don't know. I, I, I think if it's gonna be better, it's gonna have to be a different map. And if it's the same map, it's gonna be really disappointing. Yeah, it's gonna it's be just... worse, because half of that game was exploration. Yeah, and it's like, if you know everything, then it's a little sad. And also, like, they can't do the shrines again. They'd have to switch that for something else. And they'd have to have an excuse for Link to be weak again. That's another reason why I think Zelda That might happens in be games, possible. like, all the fucking time. Yeah, that's usually... I mean, and sometimes it's just not even explained. Like, oh, here you go. Um, Every I got Kingdom Hearts for... game, the new Deus Ex okay. games did it. I mean, it doesn't uh, make it good. Just, it doesn't make it bad. Like, if you start out, like, juiced up, like, you'd, you'd be bored. Of course. I suppose that's enough of a reason, eh? I don't think so. I think if the game is good enough, if the combat is good enough, it really doesn't matter. Well, essentially what they'd have to do is create new super creatures and be like, the reason these feel like the same as the ones you fought last time are because they're better. And it's the same yeah, well, thing. I can, I can get down with that. Well, could you? Even though it's, even though it's just as So stupid, you have all of your abilities, but they're worthless and you have to get new abilities. Yeah, I can. Like, I mean, all your abilities do sense. half damage or something. Yeah, you could do it really lazily. Like, there's no point I... to ever use them again. I mean, have you ever, have you ever, have you guys ever played Advent Rising? No. Uh, no. So in Advent Rising, you're a human, uh, you're invaded by aliens. It turns out, like, they blow up the planet, it's gone. There's, like, two humans in the world left. But you find out the reason why they invaded you is because you are actually, like, gods. So you ascend, essentially. You're, like, the, the creature that was uh, destined for ascension as a human. So... Throughout the game, you get progressively more and more powers. Uh, you get, like, levitation and, um, like, obviously, like, psi powers and stuff like that. But then it gets outrageous. And by the end of the game, you're flying around, like, just shooting people in, like, circles and stuff. It's pretty crazy. Um, it reminds me of a... Uh, ah, what was that game? Um, there was a game for the Xbox 360 and PS3 where you, uh, like, were mutated and you could, like... Oh, I know people's the prototype. Forms. Yeah, prototype. Mm -hmm. So it reminds me of that, where <laughs> by the end of prototype, you're like, holy fuck, I'm so powerful compared to I used to be. And in that case, like, that's cool. But I think most of the time when people like, well, like, oh, look, you had a new skill that you should have had all along. I'm like, cool. Anyway. Wait, no, no. You had it. Oh, are you watching me? Yeah. Press middle again? No, no, stop. Press. All right, you press so many buttons now. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck up. Stop watching. Wait, go you. back to middle. Press go back to middle. I know I win. How anyway. do you guys die so fast? Um, because I... Not paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um... I mean, I guess we have a few things. Luke, you wanted to talk about streaming surfaces. Oh, yeah, like Stadia? I think they're a joke. What is, is that, that all? That's, you that. put that on the list because you wanted to say, I think they're a joke, and that's No, it. I mean, like, well, let, me, let me get what to is, this. Wait, wait, wait. So, what is Stadia? I've never heard it's of it. Stadia Google's, is... Uh, games as a service streaming platform. You don't buy games. You stream them. And so... You stream them for either no money or money. money. Yeah. Uh, so basically how like it works... Is Twitch? No, l l let me explain it to you, okay? When I say streaming, I don't mean you're streaming someone else playing the game. I mean you're streaming a computer that is playing the game. Also, I know we don't really talk about the games we're playing, but this is an important point. How did Hamworld get away with this? What, just, just like ripping off? off? This is this um, is Gauntlet. This what you're looking at right now is Gauntlet. I think it's because the... Gauntlet hasn't really made new stuff in a while. They so just made a new pretty... game like four years ago. I mean, it's yeah, kind of like a love letter. Yeah, no, this this isn't a love letter. This, like, is, this is we're not really trying to take it away. Yeah, but this is what I'm trying to get. Like the new <laughs> Gauntlet wasn't as like this. True. But it was still going. Like it, it the IP still exists. Yeah, yeah but it like doesn't actually have like. Well, here's the thing: if IP Gauntlet related. tried to come after them for this, everybody would be like, "Gauntlet, you're an asshole." And yeah, that's true. Got away with it. No, I mean, like, even if they went towards them, they would still lose. Like, this isn't like. There's nothing in this that's stealing anything. You, it, it's kind of like how PUBG sued. Uh... I, they literally recreated the models. What? Did no, they, they didn't. Yeah, these are the same skeletons exactly. from Gauntlet. No, no they're I think not. They're similar, but they're not the same. They're, they're slightly the higher same. res, but it's... These are the skeletons that you fight later in this game. Also, the are you saying that these are the, like, the same skeletons from the original Gauntlet? Because if so, you need to check your eyes. Blake. I mean, higher Yeah, res, I just played but... the Gauntlet recently. Gauntlet in the looks arcade, like ass. It's, not... it's like... Yeah. 
16 bit and skeletons. No, Gauntlet is 8 bit. Gauntlet and is very happy. this is 16 bit, yeah. But either way, I see what you mean. Like, it's very similar, but at the same time, it'd be like saying, well, how did Fortnite get away with copying PUBG? I, I don't know. I think this is a little bit different, though, as it's this very, is very the similar. level recreated. Like, it is a recreated level. But if somebody did that with Mario, like, they recreated the Mario level. <laughs> Nintendo might sue. Yeah, they Nintendo would. Also, Nintendo sue, everybody... super definitely would. It's Nintendo. But also, Nintendo <laughs> exists in Japan, where those laws aren't necessarily the same. Like, in different countries, when you sue people, like, they have different IP laws. But we're getting off track. Basically, Stadia um, uses your internet to connect your controller. Let me just put it this way, right? Instead of having the computer next to you, it's your controller or your cell phone or your tablet or your TV connects immediately to another pc in which you play off that pc that sounds really dumb why would you just buy the so game? because you don't need to have any hardware oh well it's still a little silly why don't you just get well, a computer if you want to play the games because you don't have money but here's where but then I you're think spending more money is, eventually yeah you're eventually you're spending about the same if you spend 15 dollars a month every <laughs> Well, you also have to have really good internet, so let's throw that in there. So maybe you're only paying for like mid-tier internet. Now you need the highest tier internet along with, well, not always, but generally speaking, you need fast internet that is very reliable, that never goes down or out or in any way, because it will immediately fuck everything up. I mean, with Stadia, it's a little bit better than other streaming services like PlayStation Now, because Stadia will actually save exactly where you are, right? Um, it will just pause the game and wait for you to come back. However, even with that said, I don't want to play a game with random intermediate, intermittent pauses like I have like a sister or a brother who keeps turning off the fucking console. <laughs> like that's not, or the PC or, you know, the screen is flashing or something. Beyond that, I think the idea of having a streaming service for a, what they're kind of marketing it towards, which is the poor people, like specifically is what they tried marketing towards, like, oh, the it's great for the poor people because they don't need to buy all this stuff. I mean, you still need internet. You still need fast internet that you're paying for monthly. Somebody's in. Hooray, the wrong person. No, <laughs> never mind, it's not me. Anyway. Um, I think it's just dumb because you need this fast internet. You need this good modem and router. And yes, it might work for some people to like try out a game. Like, that's what I used uh, online for, specifically, is to try out new games. Like, oh, yeah. But the compression is also really bad. Like, not good. And then on top of that, you're introduced to higher latency, which basically means when you hit, like, the shoot button on your computer, just imagine that taking about one-tenth of a second longer. You're the only one that cares about that. I mean, most I don't, people about, care about, about that. Latency? Like, I mean, no, I I've, I've that. willfully played with latency because it was easier to set up for stream. Wow. What are you talking about? I needed to have a latency in my setup for stream. Yeah, but that's a latency for how long you're streaming for. No, no, no. I mean, I needed, like, delay on my input because of where I had to watch the game from. Like the game was on yeah. my TV and I was watching it on my monitor through the stream software with the latency. That's just oh. dumb. I mean, like that's that's something you decided to do. But <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think most people. Are I, think I think when I hit like, I think a game it's playable at 100 millisecond. But if you're trying to get anyone, and here's the whole purpose: Stadia is trying to become like a virtual arena. It's trying to have like all these esports titles. And how the hell are you going to have esports titles if you have a 100 millisecond delay? But, I mean, I don't care how fast it's running or anything super like that. No ones. Hmm? I mean, if everyone has the delay, I'm sure people will be annoyed. No, that's like what happened with Dota 2 when it first came out, and I refused to play that game when it first came out. Because it had horrible latency on everything. But the whole thing for me is... I think the hardcore people won't get involved, which doesn't mean anything bad. I think it will be successful in certain areas that have like cheap internet for free or near free. But 
My problem is the the creators. Wait, you think Stadia will like, be popular with cheap internet? People who have like in in certain areas who have cheap internet. But cheap internet would make it play poorly. No, no, no. Like cheap, good internet. Oh. Like not America. <laughs> uh, yeah, like if you live in South Korea, you're gonna have fucking balling ass internet for like fifteen dollars a month that has no limit. Then yeah, it might be okay there. But what I'm talking about is, no matter what, the people who are kind of the creators, the, the people who make content and stuff, are not going to use Stadia. Not long term. They might use it and be like, look, I'm using Stadia when it comes out, but I don't think anyone is going to continue to play using Stadia for a very, very long time. Unless it gets significantly better, unless it allows for modding and... Oh, uh, have you been buying anything? Yeah. Me? No. I've never I've bought anything. Luke. Yeah, no, it'll help you stay alive. Get combo Where, where do I go to buy things? Where I'm at. Get combo and healing. Are Sorry. you S? Huh? Are no, you near I'm, Vitality? I'm A. Or no, I am S. I'm near right. combo 2. So what do I go over here? How do I buy things? Uh, that is a different guy. I wouldn't get anything from him. Alright, I'm gonna get health pool one and health pool two. Okay. Anyway, Actually, that's not that bad. the podcast that we're doing and not the game we're playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but. What? Yeah, I feel like Stadia is a big fuck. It's, it's a piece of shit. It's it is the fuck. Okay. Great. Like. Yeah, that, that's basically. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. It's okay for some people. I, but yeah, is it even though? Because I still feel like it's kind of dumb. No, because I mean, if you're only playing like uh, single player games and you only play like a few of them, and you don't plan on playing it again ever, I then mean, like, you're there really are taking ads risk there. there are ad supported. There are plenty of people um, that never want to replay things though. Stadia Stadia has ad support for free. Like you can play with low quality for free. Certain games like uh, Assassin's Creed, I believe they have a lot of. Um, okay. Ubisoft titles on it, and for that alone, I think they'll get some people to play. But I, how do you keep those people playing? Right. To me, it's it's not enough just to have, you know, like yeah, we have games that are available for free, and then like offer nothing, because then you just end up with Origin, which offered like a free game a month when it first came out, and then just stopped, and then. Other than Apex Legends, I don't know why people use Origin. Well, like other EA titles, I guess. Yeah, because you have to. <laughs> yeah, only because you have to. They don't like buy non-EA titles on Origin. Which maybe that's good enough. I mean, it's good enough for EA because they're making, you know, 100% of their profit. Yeah. They just had to invest in their own game uh, delivery platform. And they, I mean, they have improved Origin. It's still not, like, great, but it's way better than it was. Hey, I have bombs. How do I use these? Oh, yeah, that's your uh, B move. Well, you're not on a controller, are you? Uh, left. I think this game's way left easier button. on a controller. But... That's just me. Uh, you also wanted to talk about video game sales. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, of course, this year... Video game sales have gone way down, like way down. But wait, is this triple A or is it just no? Like all across the board, video game sales have gone way down. Interesting. And to me, it seems like what they were in this article, they were kind of saying, okay, well, video game sales are going down because the new consoles are coming out. And to that, I say, I mean, like not for another two years. Well, a year and a half. If we get in particularly, mm -hmm. yeah. So while that's kind of true, I think video games are also going down just because the way that these games are being not only advertised, but the way that these games are being manip manipulative to their user base is almost enough to drive a lot of people to just stop playing games. I don't I mean, know. When you have, like, free-to-play games that are just flat out, like, hey, guess what? Uh, yeah, it's pay-to-win. Like, this game is totally pay-to-win. Like, I'm not gonna play that game, obviously. 
And at the same time, there are people buying what these games. What games are you referring to that are pay to win? Uh, a lot of mobile games, specifically. Okay. And believe it or not, that okay. was a big part of the game market as a whole. But beyond that, I mean, like, even... All right, let's take a lot of sports games, which are traditionally very popular titles, right? You take these uh, popular titles and you make them pay to win. Yes, you've increased profit for maybe the first two or three years, but I think in the long run, you're destroying your brand. So I'm pretty sure FIFA is, but I don't know of other sports games that are. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, like NBA 2K game. is, like, absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, it's one of the worst... Um, examples of pay-to-win in modern video gaming. Where are you guys at? Uh, click uh, tab. Yeah, I did. Right now you have an arrow that points to us. Okay. Looks like you gotta go down and to the right. Yep. So anyway, yeah, it just feels like as games become pay-to-win, people become more wary of it, regardless of whether a title is actually pay-to-win or not. And we end up with um, people buying less games. Yeah. Like that. That's that's how I see it. I don't see I don't it necessarily know. as. Um, also, video though. Games. I mean, with stuff like that, I mean, haven't some things been doing really well? Like even compared to like their past counterparts, like absolutely stuff like God so, of let's... War. Um, God of War, yeah, I mean, like, that was a year ago, but yeah, um, my big thing this year is I feel like there, obviously there are not as many games out, right? Yeah, like, I, I haven't been buying games just because there hasn't been that much I've cared about over the last year. Yeah. Because everything that released this year was a lot of, like, EA garbage, and, uh, I don't know, just nothing really interesting. I agree with the EA garbage, but, uh, <laughs> um... It's not just that, it's the games... Like, advertising for games doesn't necessarily work the way that it used to. Like, I, if, if I see... Back in the day, I know for a fact, like, if this were 20, 2009, 2009, right? And someone had the thrown... 2009. 2009, yeah. So, 2009. You said the 2009. Whatever, man. So, 2000... I was gonna say, like, 20, 2010... 20 ot 9 How about that? But why the the? Don't worry about it. But anyway. So, back then, if you would have showed me a title of, like, like let's say just a title of a game in the backdrop, let's say, like, Bethesda did for, uh, for some of their newer stuff, I would have been like, oh, shit, it's happening. And maybe that's just because I used to be stupid. But, like, today, if that were attempted, I would just not give a fuck. Which I didn't. Thanks for dropping that. It, it goes... You're the one that's doing it, dumbass. You press the no. button and it only goes up for a little bit, and you keep pressing it too early. <laughs> I'm great. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ah. So... Oh, shit. Oh, I know. You took the last life. <laughs> I also bought the last life. Anyway, lost. we've hit no. We've hit the hour mark, and we lost this boss. That seems we did like do that. It's good a place as any to end. So how's how's your computer doing? It's great. It's good to hear. Uh -huh. so anyway, do you have? Do you have dual channel memory now? Thanks for watching, everybody who's watching. This is a wild one. Was it? Wow, don't, was don't forget to we, sign we up. We talked for, about like uh, four things. This is a pretty tame one. What? Is, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like the topics that we talked about, though, a little bit. That's yeah, just because Luke righteous. insulted your religion. Yeah, probably. I mean, talking about religion. Don't, don't feel bad. I insult people. everyone's religion, including people who are atheists. Like, I just. I don't, I'll, Insult I don't feel bad. I'm just saying, like, a podcast talking about religion. Yeah, there are none of those. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Whatever. <laughs> Bye.